All the gear and no idea. That's how you should describe my experience with Microsoft Flight Simulator. If anything, in the comments at YouTube are to be believed. But I don't care. I enjoy just having a muck around. That's how I use Flight Simulator. But in reality, I could be much more professional because I have the Honeycomb Aeronautical Alpha Flight Controls, the Alpha Yoke and Switches, and the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. This is EFTM. <laughs> Now when I got Microsoft Flight Simulator to try, I got a bunch of great accessories. Uh, some Logitech yoke and some throttle, throttle controls, some Thrustmaster rudder controls, and I'm talking high quality stuff. But also I got this Alpha flight control, this yoke and switches here. Now, straight out of the box, I knew this was something special. Now not to degrade the Logitech product, but it felt very plasticky. This feels like it belongs in an aircraft or something because it is high quality. This is one heck of a beautiful unit. Lights up when it's in use. These switches are very satisfying in, in their touch and feel. And most importantly, it doesn't feel loose at all. It feels like I'm in control. It feels like I'm actually connected uh, with, the, uh, with the simulator itself. And this here is $449, available now at the Gamesman and other leading retailers, but i got to say, on its own, this makes Flight Simulator something special. I still use the keyboard, and sometimes I also use a joystick for rudder control. Sometimes the pedals are just a bit much. But what I was really waiting out for was the Bravo accessory. And it's an accessory because it would be pretty useless without the Alpha yoke and switches. But this here, these throttle controls are something to behold. Again, same high quality design, very solid, robust design. And these, these throttle controls here are phenomenal. Now, the most important thing I have to tell you is you get two boxes with it, general aviation and commercial. Because hey, when you're out flying your Cessna, they're your controls. But when you want to fire up that Airbus, you want to jump in that A320 or whatever it is, you've got these. These are separate controls that match the needs of someone in commercial aviation. So they have they have extra um, switches, they have extra buttons in them. There's a whole range of different things, but most importantly, they look the part. They're made to look like you're using that airliner. Obviously you replace them all, not just one. But it's that kind of attention to detail that I think pilots will absolutely love. That's why I think anyone that's kind of half into this will absolutely be drawn to these products. There is something very, very high quality about these. It's not just the build quality, but I guess it's how they feel. So, you know, pushing up the throttles really has this, you really get a good sensation from it. It doesn't feel like it's its not in contact. It feels like there's a bit of friction there and it actually might feel like that in a plane. Not that I've ever flown a plane, but I gotta say for $449, it's a solid investment, right? Because you're obviously spending 900 to get them both. But if you're loving Flight Simulator, and you've invested in a PC rig that is there to drive that for you, unbelievable. The Bravo Throttle Quadrant from Honeycomb, and of course, the Alpha Yoke and Switches. Oh, these switches are so satisfying, and these ones down here as well, it's so satisfying. It's a really, really nice um, feel. It's a beautiful, high quality design, and there's no drivers required. You just plug and play with Microsoft Flight Simulator. The ultimate accessories for Microsoft Flight Simulators. Full details at EFTM.com. And if you want to buy them, check out our mates at The Gamesman. They've uh, got them in stock now. The Yoke and the uh, the Alpha, sorry, the Bravo Throttle Quadrant are on pre-order right now.